Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today I'm going to do a quick little update on my Koyo sneakers. Shout out to the guy who left me a comment on my old video asking for an update. I was supposed to do it six months later but here we are a year later which is perfect. Um, they are a little dirty right now because <laughs> I had to do some walking in my yard the other day. And I'll say this, these are my go-tos. When I am not wearing a flat, I have these sneakers on. And the first thing I am going to show you, I'll say this, sometimes I wear them with socks, sometimes I don't, okay? If I wear them with like ankle socks that have like that little plastic piece on the inside for it to stay on top of your, your like your foot, for whatever reason, it kind of sticks out of the shoe. It could be the brand of socks. I don't think it's the actual sneaker, but if it is the sneaker, it's because it has this rubber piece, not rubber, like suede piece in the back. They dirty. <laughs> um, and I and I and I think I've really wiped. I've never washed the strings. So gross, right? I've never washed the strings. Never. And I I think they look pretty good for not washing them in a year. Um, here's the dirty bottom, whatever that is. That's probably a leaf from the backyard. And let me show you. Yeah, maybe you guys can see. So as far as it running down in the back, I'm gonna do it like this so you guys can see. Can you guys see that? Okay. My, my right foot which is this one on this side, it run, ran down just a little bit more than the other shoe. It's not like totally bad, but you definitely can see a difference. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It looks bad when it looks like, when it's like that, but it's slight. This is the right foot. Can you guys see? Um, and then this is on the left foot in the back. You guys see that? I'll show you the creasing in the front. But again, I was not treating these sneakers as if they were like gold. Um, so this is a year in. There's some creasing in the front, but that is probably normal. I'm not mad at that. And there's also some creasing on that one. I hope you guys really can see the creasing. All right. When it comes to the inside, they dirty. <laughs> the suede part looks rather dirty. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Well, it's not really dirty because it was gray. But I'll say this, this makes your feet ashy. So if you have... If you don't wear socks, this little suede piece, I don't know, my foot be ashy. Not ashy, but it's like some, I don't know. Um, again, have not washed the strings in a year. So, they look pretty much, well I guess these inside of, inside is dirty because I always step on these. But I think the strings look really good for it to be a year. Um, the longer I wear them, I do sometimes, if you have your strings on the inside, like if it's in, just make sure it's not touching your toes or anything like that because it definitely will leave a mark. Um, that's the left foot. And let's get into the rubber around the sides. Now the rubber around the sides look really, really good. If I had some time, I would have cleaned them off for you guys, honestly. Now, another thing is I do drive in these. Um, typically you have your shoes where your right foot is. Dang, what about lefties? How do you guys drive? That's dumb, right? <laughs> um, typically it'll rub off some of the material, but I haven't had that issue. Um, and I'm, I may be extra cautious when I have them on. That could be it. Um, but these are size eight in men. I think they're unisex to be honest. Uh, 
Is this an eight? What's this 40 right here? I think this is an eight. Um, what else? Comfortability, these are comfortable. I wouldn't say you can walk all day in them. I did it when I was in LA um, on some days. Didn't bother me. I had on comfortable socks with it. Um, I have not thoroughly washed these sneakers. Not yet. I don't think it's time. I think that these are a really, really good made sneaker. Um, let me see what else I can show you guys. No rubbing off. Let's see. Um, yeah, inside looks really good. To be honest, for it to be a year. That, like I said, that back piece is like a, it's like a gray. I don't know, it could turn, I don't know, that may be the wrong color. <laughs> I had them for so long. Um, yeah, maybe one foot is darker than the other. Like I said, sometimes I just wear these mugs with no socks on my feet. I think the most important thing is the bottom. Yeah, can you, I don't know if you guys can see. My left foot looks good. The right foot doesn't look bad, but if you really look close, it has a slight, that's a little piece of paper under there, guys. It has a little slight little, you know, slant from running down, but not to the point where it's like noticeable. Even in the front, the front looks good too on both sneakers. Yeah, like I still have all my grooves and stuff. Let me show you guys the crusty bottom. I still have all my grooves and stuff. It is so dirty. <laughs> I still, listen, I had to walk in the dirt, the mud the other day with these things on. Um, But the bottom is still quite like normal like none of the grooves are gone oh yeah you can see it here oh you know what's weird maybe the left foot oh so the left foot has let me see so the left foot has um a little bit of rundown at the bottom can you see here you could see like and then the right foot you could actually see it but the funny part is that you can't even tell looking straight at the sneaker let me wipe some of this crap off the bottom this is all the stuff from from thing from the yard like tr uh, leaves and stuff um but yeah I can tell now but to be quite honest guys this ain't bad this is not like hideous <laughs> compared to what I know some people kind of deal with when it comes to sneakers. But other than that, I think this these are a really, really great pair of sneakers, guys. I would also, I would definitely still recommend these for anybody who's looking for a classic pair of sneakers. Um, if you're looking for a classic pair of sneakers, definitely still go for these. They had a sale recently. Um, and these went on sale. I know they have a bunch of new new colors and stuff now, but personally, the classic white is the bomb. And I still have the dust bag. I still pack them back up in the box. I still stuff them. Um, I don't put them in here. When I traveled with them, I had them on so I didn't have to put them in here in the dust bag. Um, and I, I still just pack them right back away because I don't have a lot of sneakers. I treat them like, I still pack them. My shoes, I keep them in the, the shelves, but my sneakers, no. But that's it, it's just a quick little update. And this is a one year update on my Koyos, guys. <laughs> and I absolutely love them, guys. So if you are on the fence about getting these, I know the common projects are a little bit more money, or a lot more money, um, but these are great, these are sleek, I wear them with skirts, dresses, um, slacks, jeans, shorts, whatever I feel because they're not bulky. I'm not a person 
Well, back in the day when I was like 14, I would wear Uptowns, but you guys call them Air Force Ones. So we call them Uptowns in New York. I would wear those with just the low top ones, but they're just, they're too bulky to just wear with like a skirt or a dress. It's just not a good look. Um, but these are awesome guys. So to the guy who sent me the little nudge about the update, here you go. Um, I think they're still worth it. I wish I would have gotten another pair only because I'm being lazy about washing them. Um, other than that, they do have other colors that I actually like, like that pretty, it's not a blush color. I was looking at this box. Um, it's kind of like a pink color in there, but a nice tan, brown, cool colors. Um, true to size, I would say yes. I am an 11 in women, 10 and a half, 11, 12. So, for whatever reason, men's sneakers fit me better than women, and it could be because they're wider. I got wide feet, so. They are still good to go, guys. Um, and as far as pricing, I still don't think they're super expensive for me to have had them this long. And I know I can go a couple of more years just, you know, cleaning them off with a toothbrush and a little bit of soap. And that's it, nothing. And I just do that around the edges. And some, actually what I did the last time, I think I used baking soda and a tad bit of soap and I just kind of cleaned it. Um, but they have not been getting dirty until I walked in that backyard, guys. So that is my one year update for my Koyos. Um, I do have a video for you guys about my Invisalign, uh, my, my spark aligners. I did go to the orthodontist and I am gonna be getting some more trays, guys. So I'll let you guys know the details on that one. But that is it for this video. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC and my blog, Coco Styles NYC and my styling services, CocoStylesNY.com guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.